Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your QuickBooks online account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you remove or disconnect a bank account from your QuickBooks online? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to disconnect one of your banks from QuickBooks online? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to stay organized with your different transactions and maybe one of the banks you're using for personal reasons. So you don't want it connected to, to your QuickBooks online. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my QuickBooks account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to disconnect or remove a bank account from your QuickBooks, what you're going to do is here on the left, go ahead and click on menu, this little arrow next to it. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down, and you want to hover over transactions and then you want to click on bank transactions. Okay, so once you do that, you will see all of the bank accounts that you have connected to your QuickBooks books. You can see, I just have this one right here. And what you want to do is choose the bank account. Once you've chosen the bank account that you want to disconnect, click on the little pencil icon on the top, right? Once you click there, you're going to see this menu and you want to click on edit account info. Okay. So once you do that, you will see more information about the account you connected to your QuickBooks. However, in order to remove it or disconnect it, look for this button right here below the name of your bank account, disconnect this account on save. Go ahead and check there. Once you see the green check mark, you want to go ahead and click on save and close. Okay. A quick second later, the page refresh. Freshes. Now we are back here in the bank transactions. And as you can see, my bank is no longer connected to my QuickBooks account. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to disconnect or remove a bank account from your QuickBooks account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.